online markers are used to identify and annotate moments in time on the Blackbird timeline. They're colored orange, so they're easily seen at a glance. Timeline markers can be added in two ways. Use your keyboard's letter M key to add a marker. When M is pressed, a marker will be added on the marker layer of the timeline, and a pop-up text entry box appears where you can add your text comment. Press Enter to add the marker. An overlay of your comment will appear on the screen. Alternatively, double-clicking on the marker track will produce a marker. There's also an option to hide and show markers and to view the overlay comments at the bottom or top of the edit side viewer. This option is found by right-clicking on the marker track selector. If you wish to add a marker without a text entry box, this can be achieved with a modifier key command or program your own as a keyboard shortcut. If you start an edit and the marker track is not visible, enable it from the visible track selector bar by clicking the plus sign at the bottom left of the timeline, which opens the visible track bar. From this point, click the check mark next to the word marker to enable the marker track. To navigate to a marker on the Blackbird timeline, use the current position bar and click on the marker of your choice. For more precise navigation, you can jump to the previous or next edits using a keyboard shortcut which also includes the markers as navigation points. There's also a separate keyboard shortcut if you want to include markers only in your navigation. To remove a marker, Delete the text entry and the marker will disappear. Since a marker is a point in time on the timeline, it may inadvertently be removed using your Blackbird's trim mode. It will also be moved if you slip a shot by shift-dragging a clip.